Tuesday. And what else is there to talk about but what happened to the United Airlines flight? Everybody's seen it when they dragged the, uh, the passenger off the plane, screaming and yelling, bleeding. And uh, then you expect them to issue an apology. And the CEO comes on and sends an email out and says, it's all by procedure. Isn't that great? You bring, you send in the jack boots, you tie them up and you pull them out. They showed the numbers. They said that, you know, most people volunteer. I don't think people volunteer. I think people know that they're finished. If they don't get off that flight, there's going to be a problem. But nobody expected that. And how about only $800? You know, the airlines always made the argument that they need to do this over booking because they didn't have enough money. But they're making billions of dollars, literally billions, I think $10, 20000000000 billion. Their stocks are rocking. How can United Airlines do something like this? United Continental just pull somebody off, not think people have videos, and then to come back and say it's okay? You know, it may not hurt them in the short run because these guys have monopolies and can do whatever they want to do. But in the long run, if something ever happens to United where they need the public sympathy, they're never going to have it because out will come these videos showing the way they dealt with people and people are going to go, Phew. I know I wouldn't want to do business with them. I mean, if you're stuck in there, that's the only way to go because of the monopolies, then you're stuck. But I mean, wow, you just pull them off because you got to put your employees on there. This person paid his fare. He was sitting down. His family was waiting for him. He wanted to get home and you just yank them off. What if, what if that happened at a baseball game and you tried to yank four people out because the home team needed the seats? I wonder what would happen. What about in a football game? You can't do this kind of stuff. I mean, you can do it because you're airlines. People only knew that you have no rights on an airline, but it's absolutely horrible. I'll tell you this, though. I used to fly a lot. I would fly Southwest. I don't think Southwest would ever do anything like this. Southwest was always pretty cool, and the people were pretty cool. But for the United Airlines employees to even do this, to bring people on, I mean, and not to be embarrassed and sick about it, man, everything they have bad happened to them economically, they deserve peace.